Now, again, narrowing down the discussion, bringing us back to public health. Now, epidemiology becomes the core of all of this. Now, again, we can talk about it in COVID scenario, but also in general. And you worked in the area, Dr. Padma. How do you think epidemiology plays a role? If at all, first of all, um, do you even want to uh, address a question like, what is epidemiology and why should it matter in public health? Yep, it, it, it is an important um, um, uh, area of, uh, of healthcare, actually. Epidemiology is basically understanding the, the spread of diseases. In fact, the, the, the field epidemiology, in fact, it actually started with infectious uh, diseases. And you can all, uh, you will probably all know, or some of you might know that um, there was a famous um, uh, you know, physician uh, slash statistician named John Snow in England, who was able to identify the correct source of cholera diseases just by classifying the source of uh, water source or uh, supply, the source of water supply in the two regions in um, uh, in, in England. And uh, so that's how the modern epidemiology started. And then the Indian, the, the England government, so not Indian, the, the the government of United Kingdom, they uh, started, uh, you know, um, numerating morbidity and mortality data, mortality data, uh, meaning death rates and then the disease rates. And then the modern epidemiology started and they were able to clearly demonstrate who were dying, where they were dying, how were they dying. And that's as simple as that. So basically epidemiology means classification of uh, diseases based on uh, you know the the name place the place and uh, source mm. and that's epidemiology in a crude uh, sense and uh, what happens um, uh, is that a lot of people uh, when we learn about epidemiology it's usually four pages in our uh, you know community medicine yes, textbook yeah. or uh, you know or even less than that but and that, that's usually not the case you know you 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 apply epidemiology you know throughout your life as long as you're a healthcare worker so what is the incidence what is the prevalence what is the you know mortality rate what is the relative risk you know these are things which you constantly uh, interact with every day for example um, you know when you could take covid 19 what are the chances that you are likely to get and the answer is epidemiology the answer lies in an epidemiological parameter called r not or reproductive rate it's the ability of the virus to infect another susceptible person mm. and if you take why covid-19 is uh, deadly because it can infect two to four people mm. whereas a common flu uh, it can only infect 1.5 to 1 to 1.5 people and that's why you see the exponential growth in the number of covid-19 cases in you know countries like uh, us or china or you know France, Italy, and Iran. So you can see the exponential um, uh, growth in the number of cases. And without an understanding of epidemiology, you will not be able to deduce a lot of uh, concepts behind um, the control of uh, diseases. Yeah. And having said that, in fact, epidemiology is not just limited to uh, you know infectious diseases. It's it's actually widely applied to areas like cancer to cardiovascular care and renal care you know you name it you you need to have epidemiology and um, you know as statisticians usually say you cannot uh, the ones you cannot measure the one the, the ones you can't control so if you yeah. can't measure you can't control anything so uh, you know it's, it's 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 actually the fundamental backbone of uh, uh, healthcare and is definitely the backbone of public health. And I think it's really important for everyone to understand at least the basic concepts of epidemiology. Yeah. Well, uh, in the recent times, Dr. Padma, deviating from our conversation, a lot of conversations across the globe, uh, keeping the NCDs in mind, was about preventive health and preventive medicine, and everybody was talking about it, and the entire AI concepts were now being uh, deployed uh, for preventive healthcare concepts. Now, I think be it preventive care or uh, the situation that we are in, wherein we are looking at containing a disease, uh, like you rightly said, measurement and statistics form the basis for every decision that we make. The current 
current scenario that we are in wherein we are ending up making important decisions like do we need to continue with each and every protocol that we've made in the hospitals or healthcare systems even for that matter outside in the community and organization like ours which doesn't work in a healthcare setting as such coldly also needs to take some valid decisions from inputs from people like you wherein like the question you raised we need to know if we are going to get infected or how soon do we need to work from home do all of us need to work from home or what is safe and what is not safe i think all of these answers will come from the concepts that you've just mentioned wherein we measure them and we track them and statistically understand where it is headed uh, i think that's the uh, core of epidemiology and that's why i you're uh, you're right it doesn't have to be infectious diseases alone it can fit into everything but how many of us as healthcare workers clinicians nurses and other practitioners uh, have this awareness and understanding of the basics of epidemiology uh, i think is the point i wanted to make